Hi guys, this is your reading for Wednesday the 31st of May. It's the end of May. Oh my goodness, let's have a look at what is coming up for you via the cards for this day. And May really is one of my favorite months of the year. I absolutely love it. It's been so beautiful here. So let's have a look at the last day here. And I'm using the China Tarot again. I used it yesterday. And it's just telling me to shuffle it very well for some reason. So let's have a look. So we have the Five of Pentacles, then we have the Sun, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is about hard times, rejection, uh, dealing with difficulties, but having the support via other people. The Sun is a feeling of physical strength. It's a feeling of strong identity and it's the ability to go out into the world and to take action. And it's also a positive mental outlook. It's in reverse. So on this day, you're not feeling 100%. Okay, you're not feeling your best. You may be a little bit under the weather. You may just wake up a little bit grumpy. You may have hay fever. Uh, you may uh, be in a bad mood or you may physically just feel things aren't as good as they could be. You know, we all have good days and bad days. According to the cards here, your energy levels are lower than usual and you feel it's a bit tougher. And um, things that are slight challenges, slight rejections, what, what, what is it they call it on um, campuses these days? M a, a microaggression that under normal circumstances you would just brush aside and say, whatever, you know, it's part of life, brush it off, never mind. On this day, <clears throat> it might really, it might really get you down, okay? So be careful, be aware that you're not feeling 100% and just be aware of that and be nice to yourself. You know, the, the, the biggest thing, first of all, knowledge is power, recognizing that this is where you are. It's so much easier to just say, okay, I woke up in a bad mood and, in a, I, and I'm in a bad mood today and that's the end of it and I'm going to try and do my best with it. Or you can say, I don't accept this feeling, I'm going to fight against it and I'm going to make sure that I have a great day. That will frustrate you even more because you're fighting against yourself. Make friends with yourself, say, okay, you're a little bit unhappy today, what can I do to make you feel better? Don't fight yourself, say, what would you like to do to feel a little bit better? Okay, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. It's very strange. Over the last couple of days, we've had Ace cards. We've had the Ace of Wands. We've had the Ace of Swords. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles. You're being blessed over this period. There's something going on here where the universe is giving you things. It's giving you today a solution to the problem of feeling bad. So if you have felt terrible for the last couple of years and you've had the doctors investigate and they haven't come up with anything yet and there's more tests to be done and more investigation today is the day when the diagnosis comes through when they know what the problem is and they can heal it to make you feel better on a less extreme level on a more personal level if you have something that within your own body that bothers you you discover the answer to deal with that today. It could be as simple as um, discovering that you have no energy because you actually are allergic to the dog and taking an antihistamine would um, reduce the allergy and make you feel better. That's the answer that you get today. So this is the blessing today a message about your physical health, your physical body, and what you can do to consistently feel better. It may be that today the penny drops that, or you understand, or you discover, let's say, exercise and the particular type of exercise, badminton. Let's say you discover badminton today, and you play around with badminton, and you feel so good after it, that you understand that 
the exercise and the release of the endorphins that it caused is a way to feel better and to make yourself feel better. It's that's what this is about. It's taking a personal note, making a mental note and saying, oh, this worked for me today. This made me feel better. I'm going to file that away and I can use this again in future. Next time this happens, I know what to do about it and I know how to heal myself physically so I do not suffer and that I do get the energy back and there's um, physician heal thyself is what you are today okay you're becoming your own doctor because you'll be you're gaining greater understanding of your own body so it, it, it could you know this can show up in a thousand different ways but maybe you love jalapeno peppers and you eat them all the time and you've got major problems with um, sinusitis or something and on this day you realize that the sinusitis is actually linked to all the chilies you're eating and that if you if you avoid hot spicy foods then you have clearer sinuses as an example as in for instance okay but you learn more about your own physical system that helps you to heal yourself in future so pay attention and look at what's making you feel better what have we got here? We've got 19 and 1 is 20 and 5 is 25. 2 and 5 is 7 and 7 is about mind and creativity. Okay, so use your mind, pay attention to your own body and use your intellect to see your body as something separate from yourself almost. You're a spiritual being. This is your this is your vehicle that you use to get around on planet Earth and you learn about your vehicle, you learn about your machine and how to make it feel better and how to make it more effective and function more um, and more effectively on a consistent level. Okay, so wonderful. I'm going to certainly pay attention to this because um, um, you know, I think we all have kind of little health things now and then that are going on. And if it's as simple as avoiding gluten or not eating strawberries because they affect your thyroid or whatever it is, then that's really useful to know that uh, so you can avoid them and feel better in future. Have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Um, and what's interesting is, you know, the month of May is mostly associated with Taurus and it's the body and it's the earth. This last day of May, the 31st, it's almost like we're getting a gift here from the month of May and it's saying, here you go, I'm giving you some information about your own physical being, which is what I am as May. This is my energy. I'm going to teach you something about your own physical kind of um, makeup, your own structure. So that's the gift that we're receiving here at the end of May. May is being really good to us. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and support me that way. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.